Hello and welcome to Skitty Animates. I'm Skitty and today I'm going to teach you how to reference a file into Maya 2016. Referencing is very similar to importing a file into Maya, but there is a very big difference. With an import, you're bringing the file into Maya, whereas with a reference, you are just telling Maya to look elsewhere for the file. Referencing is really good when you want to bring multiple characters into a scene and you don't want it to slow down Maya. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to click up on the file tab and hit create reference. And this will bring up a menu where you can search for the file that you'd like to reference. In this case, my file is on the desktop under the Jasmine Rose Rig folder. So I'm going to click on that. It is an MA file, which is a Maya type file. And I'm going to hit reference. All right, now we have a character rig referenced into Maya. This is going to use a lot less CPU than if you were to import the model. So we could have 10 of her in here at a time and it will slow down, but nothing like if you were to import. Now, just like importing, the textures don't always show up because it's not looking in the right location, especially if you get a free model from somewhere else, such as this Jasmine Rose model. So over in the layers tab under the Jasmine Rose Geo, we're going to hit this R, which is a reference button. When we turn that off, we can then select her geometry. Hit Control A to bring up the attribute editor. Scroll all the way to the right, select on that texture. And you can see under color, it is black, but it has a node attached to it. If we click on there, we can see that the computer is looking for the original location of the person who created this texture, which was not us on this computer. So if we click on this folder here and we tell the computer where this texture is, this is the shirt. Now, as you can see, this only loaded the texture for the shirt and the rest of the textures still need to be loaded in. So we would one by one go through every texture and reload to that location. Sometimes, mostly when you're doing imports and not a reference, when you tell Maya where the first texture is, it will recognize that the other textures are in that same folder and it will auto load those for you. But keep in mind that that will only happen if you keep all of your textures organized in the same folder. The useful thing about referencing over importing is that if I hit file, reference editor, we get a list here of all of the models that are referenced into our scene. So far we only have one, but if we hit this checkbox here, this will unload the model from Maya, but it will keep anything that you have done to it into Maya. This is very useful if you have to animate multiple characters in a scene, because you can leave only one reference showing at a time, and when you bring the rest back in, the animation that you've done will still be there. This can really help if your computer is struggling to keep all of these characters in the scene at once. That's basically all you need to know about referencing a character into Maya. If you found this tutorial helpful at all, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more. If there's a specific tutorial that you'd like to to see, please leave a comment below and let me know and I can try to help you out. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.